Hello again. I'm regularly ticked off by some people commenting here for apparently ignoring what is blindingly obvious to everybody else. That is to say the way that the Jewish conspiracy is at work to dismantle European culture, both by promoting mass immigration from Africa to Europe and also working as fifth columnists from within our society to change irrevocably the nature of Britain. The only problem is that those who make such claims are a little vague about the details. I thought that I would give a couple of concrete examples and we could then see how the thing is being done. The thumbnail to this video shows the cast of the theatrical production of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which is currently playing in London. This is A, very annoying, and B, really unhistorical. Does anybody know of a case of four black children being evacuated from London during the Blitz? No, it simply makes the thing look absurd. Now, this is just the kind of thing which those who believe in Jewish conspiracies cite as an instance of how our culture is being deliberately destroyed. Let us for a moment assume that this is true. How has it been done? Did some sinister Jew sidle up to the casting director of the play and mutter, if you know what's good for you, you best make sure that only Schwarzers are in this play of yours. Why on earth would those putting on a play take any notice of somebody saying that? It doesn't sound likely. What about the production of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? I saw a poster advertising that in central London today and there were two black girls and one white boy on it. Is this just coincidence? Or perhaps those cunning Jews up to their tricks again. Once more, I can't see how this would work. I find it very irritating to see this sort of thing going on with white people being erased and replaced by black ones. But I think that a more likely explanation is that those putting on these productions are just trying to be with it and show how they support the multicultural society and are not white supremacists. This seems to me to be the simplest possible explanation for what I'm observing. Of course, those who do believe in the power of the Jews will probably suggest that the theatres, movie industry and television are full of Jews who are able to force this kind of thing upon those making films or putting on plays. The difficulty there is, of course, that people making films are more concerned with making as much money from them as they can rather than advancing any kind of political agenda. I think that the average Jewish film producer would certainly put black people into the leading roles if he thought that this would be profitable financially, which it may well be, but not because some plan like the Protocols of the Elders of Zion requires it. In short, I think that the onus of those who be not believe that there is a Jewish conspiracy to destroy European culture by bringing black people into the continent and placing them in key positions, I think that the onus is upon those people to, to be ready to explain to sceptics like me exactly how this works and why it would be to the advantage in any way of any Jews at all.